engine oil and filter change. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Loosen the front wheel lug nuts. Place a floor jack under the front frame rail, raise the front of the vehicle, then support it with a jack stand placed under the frame rail. Remove the front wheel lug nuts and remove the wheels. Working under the vehicle, remove the engine splash shield fasteners and remove the shield being careful not to touch the hot exhaust components, position a drain pan under the engine oil drain plug. Clean the area around the plug, then remove it by turning it counterclockwise by hand and pulling it straight out. Wearing protective gloves is highly recommended. Remove the oil filler cap from the valve cover to allow the oil to flow out more easily. Allow the old oil to drain into the pan. Once the oil has completely drained, clean the drain plug and the opening on the oil pan. Reinstall the drain plug and turn it clockwise by hand. Tighten the drain plug securely. Remove the drain pan, being careful not to spill the oil. Tighten the oil pan drain plug to the specified torque setting. Position a drain pan under the engine oil filter. Again, wearing protective gloves is highly recommended. Loosen the oil filter by turning it counterclockwise with a filter wrench. Once the filter is loose, use your hands to unscrew it from the block. Just as the filter is detached from the block, immediately tilt the open end up to prevent the oil inside the filter from spilling out. Using a clean rag, wipe off the mounting surface of the block. Also make sure that none of the old gasket remains stuck to the mounting surface. It can be removed with a scraper if necessary. Compare the old filter with the new one to make sure they are the same type. Smear some engine oil on the rubber gasket or o-ring seal of the new filter and screw it into place. On typical filters, over-tightening the filter will damage the gasket so don't use a filter wrench. Most filter manufacturers recommend tightening the filter by hand only. Normally they should be tightened a three-quarter turn after the gasket contacts the block, but be sure to follow the directions on the filter or the container. Remove all tools and materials from under the vehicle, being careful not to spill the oil in the drain pan. Install the engine splash shield and fasteners. Install the wheels and lug nuts. Use the floor jack to raise the vehicle, remove the jack stand, and lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting. Remove the oil filler cap from the valve cover if not already done earlier and place a funnel into the opening. Using the funnel to prevent spills, initially pour 5 quarts of the correct type of fresh oil into the engine and then wait a few minutes to allow the oil to drain into the pan. Pull out the oil dipstick and wipe all of the oil away from the end of the dipstick with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube until it seats completely, then pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. Once the oil level is between the min and max marks on the cross hatch, fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap hand tight. Start the engine and allow the new oil to circulate. Allow the engine to idle for about a minute. While the engine is running, look under the vehicle and check for leaks as the oil pan drain plug and around the oil filter in the engine compartment. 
If either one is leaking, stop the engine and tighten the plug or filter until it is secure. Turn the engine off and wait a few minutes. With the new oil circulated and the filter now completely full, recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary to bring the level up to the max mark. Fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it securely by hand. Oil Change Oil Life Indicator Reset